So you remember we were walking on the walk for justice on Blue Island when I got lost and ended up in a deep forested wood and came across a thousand-year-old monastery on Boom Island. <laughs> and I got to talking to the brothers, the monks at the uh, seminary, and told them that I was the director of the Twin Cities Gay Men's Chorus. And uh, they said, they're sworn to silence, so we had to communicate by using our cell phones. <laughs> the Vatican issued them all iPhones, so that they could then talk in some sort of restraints. It was wonderful. And we got the story across that their vows, you know, they have a checklist of vows, and of course they didn't check off chastity. They went for um, they went for obedience and they went for silence. And they said, Jesus, it would be wonderful if we could be a part of your holiday concert. And I said, Well, okay, how does that work? And they said, We'll come up with something, but we'd like to do it in drag. <laughs> And I said, okay, we've got a monk who wants to do drag. That means nuns, right? And they said, you got it. <laughs> so we have spared for you this holiday concert. We have spared no expense. We have flown them in from Boom Island. <laughs> We're housing them at the Amsterdam Hotel over the swim. And they are now really, well, most of them, are really excited to be here to perform for you the Hallelujah Chorus, featuring what they call, euphemistically, the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence. <laughs> Thank you. 